Maranatha, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with a quick bite. Uh, just a quick word to remind us about uh, how great our God is and, and uh, His Word. And so I uh, hope you take a moment here and listen to this. And uh, just this is something that's been upon my heart. I'll tell you a little bit of backstory here as to why it's been upon my heart. So recently I was involved in a conversation with someone. Um, and this is actually post-stroke. Uh, so we know this is a miracle of the Lord that I could think as clearly as I did in, in this conversation apparently. Or I shouldn't say I thought clearly. The Lord thought clearly for me or through me. Anyway. Um, so the conversation I was having, uh, the individual was talking about, uh, they'd just gotten, uh, gone to a class, uh, for uh, basically a worldly wisdom kind of class is the best way I can put this, where they were talking about all these new uh, innovative ways of reaching people and how to communicate with people and how to uh, deal with situations and, and things of this nature and learning how to kind of handle their, uh, their situation at work. And it was a great, it sounded like a great class, honestly, it really did. Uh, everything that was being described to me, I thought that's, that's amazing. And it's pretty awesome that they were, they're, that they were trying to make a, a change in thought process uh, in how to interact with people. But what was really awesome about it was, is, uh, is how God used me in this conversation. Now, why I say this is this, because uh, I was, as I was having this conversation, every time this person would bring out this new and, 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 uh, cutting edge kind of, uh, 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 not technology is not the right word, I can't come to the right word right now, guys, uh, uh, thought, uh, new uh, cutting edge kind of um, concept. concept or or thing to deal with, uh, how, how to deal with these situations, God gave me a Bible verse for it. I'm like, oh, it's like this, or give me a story or a situation in the Bible about what they were talking about and how God would instruct us to do the same as if they were coming up with their, their fresh concepts and their fresh uh, learning apparatuses here. And I thought that was amazing that God kept doing that. Shauna actually thought it was pretty cool too. Uh, this person uh, doesn't necessarily have a faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, and it was just kind of interesting to watch this. Every time that they, they thought they had this new uh, thing under the sun, so to speak, that God was like, mm, I already covered that one, buddy. Here it is. You know, uh, it's in my Bible, written many, many, many years ago before these people uh, pulled it out or came up with it or whatever you want to call it. So as I was thinking about that, then I thought about this one Bible verse that I think we as Christians uh, need to be aware of and, and really let sink in and really let um, drive this point home to our hearts. In 2 Peter chapter 1, I'm going to pick it up now, verse 3. Um, and I'm going to read through verse 4, and I just want to read these two verses together and then come back and tell you why, this, the, why I think this is so apropos for us today uh, to, 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 to apply to our own lives and our own thought process and really to change the depth of who we think our God is and, and what he does. So with that, let's just read. It says, according as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Okay, listen to what he says there. He says he has given to us all things as it pertains unto life and godliness. All those issues, those things in life we have questions about, we're just not quite sure about, we just don't know how to settle on this. God has given us an answer to that. Now, some people would come back and go, oh, really? Can he tell me how to fix my computer? No, but he can tell you the wisdom that you need to be able to do so. Patience, reaching out to others who, need, who, who do know how to fix it, you know, getting help from people, who, from sources that, that do understand these things. I mean, there's all sorts of things like that, but ultimately, here's the point. Everything as it pertains to life and godliness, God has given us the answer in his word. And why? That we can be glorious and virtuous in our walk. So that we can be bring glory to him. And that we can live by a, a virtuous life. And I love this. Which is a great and exceeding precious promise. Isn't it an awesome thing to know? It's kind of like, if I can put it to you this way. It's like having literally Google uh, long before Google ever existed. And it's in the form of the Bible. Where I need an answer. I need some guidance here. What do I need to do? How can I do this, Lord? And he goes, read me. Read the Bible. Read what I have to say. Read the word and see what it brings to you. That we might be partakers of that divine nature and will escape the corruption and, and, uh, of this world 
and the lust thereof. Isn't that an amazing promise? So I hope this encourages you guys today just to think about how important his word really is and what it really does for us. Let that sink in some. Because sometimes I think we think that the Bible only applies in certain, certain situations. But the word of God applies in every situation. As always, guys, I know this one's a little bit long. I'll probably get shorter as I get a little bit faster over time here. As always, remember that I love you. We love you. God loves you. And God's got this.